Hey guys, how's it going? Miso here, back with another Exos Heroes video. And today we are going to be talking about FC Iris, or as they call it in the game, Holiday at the White Ocean Iris. So I love the outfit. I think it's a great design and I'm definitely gonna pull on it. And I hope I get her because I don't have all that much Zez because I like rolling and spending my Zez. But, all right, let's get into the meat of this. So, as you guys know, I am not one to shy away from speaking the truth, speaking my heart. Even if those opinions that I express aren't the popular opinion. Note my reasons why you shouldn't play Exos Heroes video. Of course, I also made a reasons why you should play Exos Heroes video. But most people, you know, probably remember the reasons why you shouldn't play. And I definitely lost some subscribers from that, which, you know, it's fine. If there are people don't want to hear the truth, then this isn't the channel for you. But I appreciate you guys who stayed after that and had an honest discussion with me. Um, you guys are the best. Um, but yeah, if you are not a fan of, I guess, opinions that might not be the most... I guess popular or like agree like you know I guess yeah the most popular opinions then I might tune out here if you are uh, you know okay with that and want to have a discussion then keep watching because this video is going to talk about some I guess things that are about to come to the game that I think might make the game either lose a bunch of players or completely die so let's hop into it so with fc iris she comes with a passive called wet fog and wet fog what that does is it removes all the barriers the enemy has and this happens once per round and when a barrier is removed then the defense of all enemies is decreased by 20 percent of your maximum health and on average, I don't have the game in front of me right now, it's in maintenance, but on average, I'd say, looking at like, I was looking at like Emma's HP earlier, um, it was like 5.4K. So on average, I'd say about 5K-ish, 5K plus HP. So 20% of 5K is gonna be at 1,000, which is the same amount of defense decrease as pretty much as the Banga family. So you're going to be losing a lot of defense if you put up a barrier. Now, who puts up barriers? Well, according to the game's text, according to this text, a barrier is something, you know, specifically like, well, a, the most popular units in the games, the game puts up barriers passively. And those are the dragon blood units, dragon scale. That makes a barrier that is 100% of your own defense. And then with the last patch, the last update, they made it so that those barriers, their strength get reduced by the amount of defense you're losing. So they, the strength of those barriers depends on how much defense you have. If you get more defense, the barrier becomes more. If you have less defense, the barrier becomes worse. And you know, this basically, from what I can tell, is going to completely counter the dragon blood units deep barriers now it's going to reduce the defense by so much that the barriers are just going to be kind of not you know basically like half as strong if not more now the what this essentially does is it basically drops a nuke on the current meta it drops a nuke on almost all of the super popular meta units and might even make them unviable. Now, some people might think this is a healthy thing for the game. For me, I'm not entirely sure if this is. And the reason I think this is you know, not entirely healthy is because a lot of people have spent a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of effort playing every day to get the Zez to pull for these Dragon Blood units. Most people we've been playing since day one probably have multiple of these units. And that's gonna be your most dedicated audience, right? The people who have been playing for a while. Now, 
there's been a lot of, you know, I've been looking at, I watch Exos Heroes content, I watch videos online, I look at comments, I look at your comments, and I've been seeing a trend. And I've been seeing a trend that a lot of people are starting to get bored of the game. They're starting to feel like the game's getting stale, there's not much to do. I personally have been getting more bored of the game because, I don't know, the way the game is structured right now, there's not many updates in terms of like content. The content's staying fairly the same. Um, the units, they kind of add to the game, kind of don't because unless they're completely busted, they don't really make it into PvP. Because in this game, it's not like another, let's, let's just say like Epic 7 for example, right? You can't really see what units they have before going into PvP matches. Which means you can't like, for say, bring a counter unit. Like You can't be like, oh, they have this lineup, so I'm going to bring these counter units. That doesn't really work. You're just going to bring the most powerful units that you have into PvP and make them go head to head, which causes a situation where, you know, like I said earlier, unless you have a unit that's more broken than the previous, you know, most powerful unit or the most powerful units, there's not much of a change to the game, which, you know, if you look at gacha games, in terms of content, there really isn't all that much updates to the content most of the time. The most updates you're gonna get are those units to use. And if the game makes it so that most of the units that you release either are a complete power creep or aren't relevant to the current meta, then, you know, people aren't gonna use them. And that's technically basically means it's like not, no new content because nobody's using that new unit, which is the new content. So that's kind of about game design, right? So I think that Exos Heroes has that flaw right now in game design that makes it so that the game's kind of boring. And on top of the game being kind of boring and now having a lot of people thinking about quitting, dropping a nuke on the meta isn't healthy. <laughs> So I think anytime you drop a nuke in the meta, I think that something's wrong. You shouldn't do that. You should try to shift the meta slowly instead of completely turning on its head, especially in a gacha game. Because these units that are so popular, I've spent a lot of time, a lot of, you know, of my time trying to get these units, saving up to get these units. A lot of people spend a lot of money to get these units and basically making them a lot weaker, like, all of them a lot weaker or maybe even completely obsolete makes it so that the people who worked hard to get these units all get shafted <laughs> even if it doesn't completely phase them out of the meta the fact that you're basically nerfing all of them with this one unit means that a lot of these people are gonna be you know feeling bad they're gonna not want you know for me let's just say for me right i'm gonna speak for myself personally i saw this update i saw what this unit does i'm like do i really want to keep playing this basically my units might just become obsolete that i've spent so much effort getting i might not want to keep continue the like, continue playing it because of this especially during a time where people are questioning whether or not they want to play if you look at other games, right, whenever they introduce counters, a lot of times these counters are, you know, for one unit, that's really popular. It's very targeted, right? Or like balance changes or like tiny tweaks that never really like super change the meta. They like kind of change, they kind of nerf it, but like they never nerf all the units that are popular. They never destroy, they never counter all the units. And one, for a gacha game, the reasoning for that is because people, like I said, people worked hard for it. People spent a lot of money on it. But if it's not a gacha game, people still don't do that. And the reason is because making a game, I guess, changing it so drastically is really uncomfortable for people. Like people are, people are kind of creatures of habit, right? So, you know, you have a habit, you keep doing this habit and you don't really want these habits to change or have to change if you don't want them, you know, if you're not doing it voluntarily. 
And this change right here is basically doing that, changing the entire meta that we're used to really drastically. And for that, I think that a lot of people might quit if this unit is as powerful as I think it is, if it counters the Dragon Blood units as well as I think it does. And that's unfortunate because, I don't know, I did, I like this game a lot. It might be a little bit boring, but I still enjoy playing it and have hopes for the game because, I don't know, it has a lot of potential. But yeah. I think that this might not be the best update. And, you know, I think that, I really hope that it is not, this unit does not counter the current meta as much as I think it does. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you agree with what I think? Do you think that this unit is gonna completely gut the Dragonblood units? Do you think that if the, you know, the Iris guts your Dragonblood units, you're going to be discouraged to play or even want to quit. Or maybe the opposite. Does it motivate you to build other units, get other units? Does it motivate you because you're frustrated with the current meta? Because there are definitely times where I am frustrated with the meta. But, you know, these are the units that I have as well. Uh, so, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. Um, as always, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thumbs down if you think that I made a bad video. Like, not just because like you don't agree with my opinion, but like you honestly think I just like messed up with the editing or you know saying things completely wrong or whatever. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. And as always, if you enjoyed my videos, if you enjoyed my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button because I really get motivated when I see subscribers and see that number go up. Also, almost a thousand, so please help me get there. Until next time, guys, hopefully next time I'll be, you know, we'll have FC Iris in the game and she won't be completely, you know, busted. She won't destroy the meta. But yeah, until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.